Zeus says, what's up guys? Welcome to Drag Boss Garage. So here's the good view of the 354 cubic inch Cleveland that Brett Likens had built and dynoed in the past. So like I said, it made 615 horsepower with stock iron Cleveland heads. So they definitely have some good potential and that's not with any work done. There's the Holly Strip Dominator there. Now this is going in my wife's 69 Mustang, which I'll kind of show you there. It's sitting over there. I got to finish working on that with that top loader four speed and Mr. Gasket inline shifter. So I figure that thing's going to run 1050s and I think we can get some wheelies out of it. Not like that, more like that, I'll be happy. So let's look at the intake. Now it was a spread board design. You can see that's gone now. And there's another picture in the corner, if it shows up, of what it looks like stock, just to kind of refresh your memory. But the thing that's crazy is, look at these, this plenum. This has been worked here, but this here, look how big that is. It's a huge, big flat spot there. And there's even worse spots when I show you. Looking down in here, let's see if you can even see, there's the valve there, you see that? Does that look like a straight shot to you? So I know I can fix that and make it better. When I look down through the carburetor with a light, I can see that all this area needs to be radiused, smooth down in here, down here. We get this fixed. Same here, this big piece right here, gotta get rid of that. That's almost a 90 degree right there. You can see the other valve in there. The other side here in the back, this is a problematic area. Look at this. That's flat, almost concave. It actually is concave right there. That air hits that, boom. I bet you it affects the atomization. I don't think about fuel droplet fallout, but I know it can be better. I've marked it out here to kind of give me an idea and to show you. Again, got these good. I don't need to do much with this, but I know I can fix this. Get that transition. Fix that transition. I hate that word, by the way. And here's another look at it. You can see the valve right there. Now that one's a little bit better, but look at this. You see this? I can fix that, remove that. Because when you look down through the carburetor, you can tell the air hits this and it has to go underneath. I want to smooth that radius because it's like a 90 degrees. And you know what? Air doesn't like to turn 90 degrees. The thing that you have to think about, especially in here, you can't go crazy because the back wall, which I'll show you here, it's thin. You know, it might be eighth of an inch, quarter of the inch, but this is one of the original air gap intakes. And you can see here, you know, and these intakes are, geez, I don't know when they're from, probably the mid 70s. I remember seeing them in 83 when I had got my first Cleveland going a couple years prior to that when I was 16. So that's our plan. Now here's what it looks like with the adapter for the 1050 on a 4150 manifold. Look at, there's a ledge here. I mean, that ledge is like a quarter inch. Same here. I know I can blend that thing to bring it all in there. It's a lot of work, but I said, what the heck? I got to at least try it. Never did any porting, so let's see what I can do. I also found another adapter. Check this out. So when I dyno this, I got to try this. I love these spacers. They just look awesome. And when I get a short going, I'll show you a little trick that I learned to take about a tenth off your 60 foot. But I love how that is all machined out of there. I mean, it just looks like the air is going to go flow right through there, you know? So we're going to have to try these spacers. We'll dyno test them with each one. We'll see what we can do. So you can see I got a lot of work ahead of me. And now that I've decided to put 100% effort in my channel and turned up the wick, you better stay tuned because I got to tell you, it's going to explode. I told my wife my goal was to have 25,000 subscribers by March 5th. So I'm going to do my damnedest to get that done. Because it's almost a uh, do or die situation. So one of the upcoming videos I'm going to have is my family and I are going to come back. We're going to get this thing turned over, get rid of that oil pan that's designed for a Fox body Mustang. Anybody need it, let me know. I'm not going to use it. I got this oil pan right here that I got from my friend, Pete Salem. I'll show you that. It's a beautiful pan. I'll get into it when we do the 
video with my family. And for Christmas, he sent me the pickup. So I can't beat that. I also want to give a big shout out to Bill Fioretti. Bill, thank you for being there for me. He sent me a, some posters over the weekend. I, it just blows me away when I see these. Let's just put it this way. The word Glidden come to mind. So stay tuned to DBG. I'm going to tell you right now, you're always learning something new when you stop by DBG.